Hey YouTube, uh, what's going on? A lot's going on right now with me. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while. Things have just been crazy with my work schedule and my school schedule and um, other things, which I guess I should probably get into. As a lot of you know, I live with my aunt. Um, we can now officially make that past tense as of uh, Tuesday night. Um, she threw me out of her house. Well, didn't really throw me out. Gave me 24 hours notice to move. Um, didn't explain why. So, um, Luckily, my friend Jeremy rented a new apartment and uh, had an extra one laying around, I guess you could put it, um, and was willing to give me a very good deal on a place to live, so, um, I'm now living in Jeremy's old apartment, um, in North Phoenix, so, um, yeah. I've never talked to him on here, um, I have a boyfriend, his name is Jay, um, Jay is pretty much the uh, best thing in my life right now. Last week, Wednesday, I uh, was out at BS West in Scottsdale, where I go out every Wednesday almost. Um, they're very, very, very rarely do I miss it. Um, so I went to BS West and. Uh, Jay was with me, and my friend Lauren, who's one of my coworkers at Applebee's, came with me. Um, we went out, we had a pretty good time. Um, I was a little exhausted, actually. Um, so, I wasn't, you know, in a bar mood. About 1.30, Lauren decided that she wanted to go to straight bars. Um, there's a couple down the block. Uh, Maloney's is one of them. Um, I forget the name of the other one, but some bars down, just down the street from where we were. Oh, Dos Gringos. Dos Gringos is where the other place where we went. So we went to Dos Gringos first. She had a, uh, a quick cocktail, which is <laughs> impressive for Lauren, considering it usually takes her about two minutes to drink one, so imagine what a, qu a quick one was like. Um... So she had a quick cocktail there. Then we uh, we went to uh, Maloney's. Um, in this time frame, my boyfriend had decided to stay behind at BS West. He didn't care to join us on the uh, in the adventure to the straight clubs. And uh, during that time that I wasn't at the bar, um, my boyfriend and a former co-worker of mine from Amsterdam of the same name kissed um, I didn't hear about it until the next night um, which still at this point angers me a lot but so it came out the next night at another bar when I was already very drunk that this kiss had happened at first, it didn't really phase me. I guess it didn't sink in because I was drunk. Then, when it finally did, I mentioned something about confronting this person that kissed my boyfriend. And my boyfriend said, don't. Being a gay man... <laughs> and, of course, always gravitating towards drama, <laughs> I confronted the person. The person then informed me that my boyfriend kissed him, as well as a few other people at the same bar that we were at. So, rightfully so, I was very angry with my boyfriend, but I didn't know who to believe, because I should trust my boyfriend because I love him. 
And I should trust my friend because he's my friend. So I asked around. No one really seemed to know anything except for that the kiss had occurred. No one saw any other kissing between my boyfriend and other people, things of that nature. And no one knew how the initial kiss between the Jays had started. So, the next morning, just, I received text messages from Jay, the former co-worker, stating that uh, he did it because I was being an asshole to him, and that if I was going to be an asshole, he was going to be an asshole right back. So I knew it pretty much at that point everything my former co-worker and friend had told me was a lie. Sadly, the truth didn't come soon enough. Um, Jay, my boyfriend, came to see me Friday night. I was out with a coworker, Tara, and her roommate getting some dinner, and while I was on my way back, my boyfriend came to my place of employment to find me. Um, and, uh, He uh, was pulled over. My boyfriend in the past has had some legal troubles as far as um, driving under the influence of alcohol. He's had two DUIs in the last year. And I shouldn't really be airing this, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, the police pull him over. He had, of course, been drinking. And, uh, It comes to find out he had never gone to his alcohol assessment classes, so um, at this point, um, they arrested him. I had to watch it from my car, because I didn't really have the balls to go up to the police. Um, so I, uh, I watched my boyfriend get arrested. And, uh, the next morning, he goes to court while I'm in an employee meeting that was mandatory. And, uh, he was sentenced to nine days in jail. At this point, it's day seven. Barely. So he'll be out Monday. Um, yeah. It's been really devastating for me. Just this whole entire last ten days with my GPA falling and being kicked out of my aunts and Jay going to jail and not knowing what to do. I don't know what to do.